The movie begins in the 22nd century when the planet Earth has become inhabitable due to the effects of climate change. As a result, humans are forced to live in man-made shelters constructed in space. In the 80 new settlements, three factions fuse together, becoming a single society known as the Adrian Republic. Unfortunately, disagreements between factions led to a civil war between the Allied forces and the Adrian Republic. In a derelict warehouse, the legendary mercenary of the Allied forces, Captain Yun Yun Yi, undergoes a mission against the robotic creations of the Adrian Republic. While dodging heavy gunfire, she is briefed by her dispatch team about the advanced prototype robot called the Zimbo hunting her down. To disable it, she must destroy the E battery in its rear ending. The captain uses all her strength to fight the robot army and get close enough to incinerate the Zimbo. However, the machine extinguishes the fire and recovers, prompting Yung Yi to hide by tethering above the steel column. Though she is discovered through her heat signature, she quickly jumps off, dodging the attack. Preparing to fire at the robot, she gets distracted by a hanging keychain and gets her fingers shot. Before Yung Yi becomes hysterical, her program is abruptly halted by the engineers of Chronoid, an institute focused on developing artificial intelligence and applying it in different technological pursuits. The lead researcher, Dr. Yun Seo Yun, enters the simulation room to investigate the issue regarding the captain's sudden malfunction, only to request resetting her brain activity as they are pressed for time to attend an important business presentation. The group then escorts the captain through the facility hallways, which reveal a production area that builds her AI clones through leftover brain data. After taking the elevator, they reach the topmost floor where project director Kim Song-hoon is anxiously waiting to unveil Young Yi to military officials to garner their support. Not long after the guests arrive, he plays a presentation that explains the ongoing Adrian civil war and the development of the Young underscore EAAF prototype combat androids. These robots are, in fact, mirrored copies of Captain Young Yi created after she slipped into a coma 40 years ago brought about by her failed mission to blow up a fuel rod in Adrian's shelter B-25. Chronoid mapped her neural cortex and converted it to data to develop the most advanced combat command AI through a series of virtual simulations. The Institute's ultimate goal has yet to be realized due to Captain Yung Yi's failure in every test, reflecting her final mission alive. Despite the thorough explanation of the project, the officials still need to decide whether to rely on an AI capable of finishing the objective. Seo Yun promises them the captain will overcome her trial soon and reclaim her lost glory as an Allied Forces hero. After some downtime, she and Song Hoon discuss the aftermath of the meeting, revealing she is the daughter of Yung Yi and a close confidant of the chairman of Chronoid since she was very young. Returning to the lab, she deactivates Yung Yi's brain process when she becomes hysterical over not having a body, giving her a complete reset. Her young colleague, Jae Kyung, enthusiastically gushes over the captain's heroism, claiming to be a big fan. Seo Yun explains that her mother took the job of being a mercenary to earn mourning for her medical treatments after getting diagnosed with a lung tumor as a child. Sadly, she slipped into a coma on the day of her operation. This lets her reflect on whether her mother regrets sacrificing her life to save her only daughter. Later after work, she boards the self-driving train while flashing back to the last time she saw Young Yi alive in the hospital. She promised to return to see her after the operation, embracing her and rubbing her cheek before saying goodbye. She then proceeds to another facility to undergo a test evaluating her psyche profile. The robot doctor sees her and informs her about the increasing number of cancer cells in her significant organs, revealing the improbability of saving her through surgery. Within three, he suggests transferring her consciousness to a synthetic body would be the best way to keep her alive unless she surrenders her brain data for cloning. As she reflects on her choice, she flashes back to when her grandmother signed the contract, agreeing to clone Yung Yi's brain in exchange for covering her tumor treatments, schooling, and living expenses. She then tearfully visits her mother in another hospital wing, revealing she has grown old in her ICU chamber while in a coma. The following day, another brain is installed on the Young E prototype, with director Song Hoon eagerly awaiting progress in her neural network. He instructs the team to change the beginning of the simulation by getting her leg shot. Though Seo Yun is unnerved to see Young E relive the mission, she collects herself to concentrate on identifying the cause of her neural breakdown. The AI is about to fail her mission again when an anomalous brain signature registers on the monitor, labeled in yellow for the researchers to see. This prompts her to fight back at the robot until she gets shot. Fortunately, the newly discovered brain activity is extracted and saved for the replication of combat AI. The following morning, the Chronoid R&D team traveled to the main headquarters to meet with the chairman, only to be denied by the bubbly managing director, Lee se Yun, who introduced herself as the newly appointed project development head of Chronoid. Song Hoon becomes visibly disappointed, knowing the institute has a separate division from the military firm. However, Se Yun does not disclose any details before leaving. 
The team returns disappointed, with Song Hoon continually hopeful the chairman will approve the project despite the downsizing. At the testing room, he amuses himself with the prototype Android's upgraded head which will soon be mapped with the yellow neural data from the previous test session. He enthusiastically takes it with him to the chairman's office, telling Seo Yun the ethics test should have been a success to keep her mother's consciousness oblivious to what they are working on. Upon arriving at the office, Song Hoon suddenly pauses at the behest of the chairman, who secretly controls him with a remote hidden in his cane. He disappoints Seo Yun by saying her team needs to halt development for the combat AI now that a peace treaty will be signed to unite the Adrian Republic and allied forces. He has decided to shift the company's resources to using AI for household services for the business to continue. Seo Yun begs him to allow the project to finish, but his mind has been made up. Surprisingly, he reveals Sang is a robot he initially created to house his brain data. Still, he decided against it, despising him as an empty husk that could never replace humankind. As she leaves, he reactivates Song Hoon but spares him from the truth. Later, the team returns to work, struggling to perfect the combat AI's data due to Yung E's inability to activate the yellow receptor in her brain. A visibly frustrated Song Hoon orders the engineers to activate Yung E and cut off her arm, hoping the pain will ignite the missing brain function. Still, it does not work, forcing him to enter the chamber and shoot her leg multiple times to elicit a response. Unfortunately, Seo Yun has taken over administrative control as she visibly feels unnerved by the director's cruelty. She stands defiant even though Song Hoon points a gun at her to reactivate the sequence. Luckily, he gets called off to the chairman's office before things get out of hand. While enduring the pain of her cancer, she discovers one of the prototype's brain data exported by her enthusiastic colleague, Jay. She hurriedly confronts him in his quarters, only to find him tinkering with a young E robot wearing scantily clad clothing, much to her horror. She covers her up and demands Jay end his perversions. Still, he reasons that Chronoid HQ instructed him to explore the AI robot for sexual application in hopes of turning the product into sex toys. She leaves distraught, remembering the first time she was given an action figure by her mom in childhood. She returns to the lab, where Song Hoon tells her about the chairman's plan to dismantle their project, blaming himself for being too ambitious. Not long after, she goes to the testing chamber and activates Young E to request her to die peacefully before she destroys the brain data. To her surprise, a yellow spike in the brain activates as the robot asks about her daughter's surgery, hoping she is saved from her disease. Seo Yun tearfully tells her it was a success and that she is on the road to recovery. Young E reveals that her failure stems from losing her daughter's keychain, which she promised to keep as a good luck charm. Seo Yun pauses the AI and breaks down, choking back tears and realizing she is to blame for her current state. Vowing to rectify her mistake, she assumes duty for the data extraction, secretly activating her consciousness to whisper the truth about her state of being and relay instructions toward her escape from the facility. By evening, Song Hoon terminates the final simulation, believing Young E is a failure now that their project is folding. He leaves the room but quickly returns when he realizes he saw something odd with Young E's behavior on the monitor. Confirming his suspicions, he initiates lockdown and evacuation procedures, as Young E, pretending to be subservient, incapacitates the two researchers escorting her to the laboratory. He then orders the combat robots to search for her, hunting her inside the production area filled with clone copies. She attacks, showcasing the same combat skills as the real Young Yi to disable the robots. Before she chokes to death from the grip of a surviving android, Seo Yun appears and disables it from behind. She reveals herself as the voice she heard in the chamber, promising to help her escape. Later, chronoid security robots inspect the area and seemingly shoot Young Yi. They soon discover through surveillance footage that Seo Yun has transferred her brain into the body of the combat android. The doctor takes Young E to the rooftop and climbs aboard the elevated railway to the city. Surprisingly, Song Hoon is there, believing she is betraying the chairman. Before he shoots Young E, Seo Yun falsely declares she erased the memories of her daughter to renew her brain into a clean slate. This information does not satisfy him, and he shoots the doctor in the shoulder, prompting the android to attack, getting him shot in the eye. Realizing he is a robot created for the pleasure of the chairman, he laughs maniacally and angrily fights with Young E, activating his actual AI functions. Their scuffle causes severe damage to the railcar, as the control sensors malfunction, forcing it to increase its speed. Song Hoon tries to throw Young E off, but she quickly leaps back inside the car, delivering a powerful kick in the face. Suddenly, a rail line filled with security robots shoots their transport and sends a raiding party inside. Fortunately, Young E manages to stop them while engaging with Song Hoon, who falls off the car. He returns with the help of a flying robot and continues to spar with her until the rail car breaks loose. Seo Yun desperately shoots Song Hoon, 
forcing him to fall to his death with one half of the railcar while Jung E hangs onto a severed steel wire. She then pulls her back inside as it stops midway. Jung E discovers she is bleeding and offers to help, but Seo Yun urges the robot to leave her to die so that she can live as she pleases. Curiously, as the pair embrace, Jung E flashes back to the memories of the captain hugging her daughter. This allows her to rub her cheek in the same manner as the captain at the hospital, overwhelming Seo Yun with emotion. The movie ends as the helicopters reach the rail line, the AI then escapes into the forest and perches atop a mountain range to stare at the sunset. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this to help the channel out. Have a nice day.